Hey, flockers! Across social media, you've probably been hearing about the Betty White Challenge today. Today's video talks about the challenge and highlights a few of our favorite rescues and sanctuaries. I had to ask my Uman to explain the Betty White Challenge to me. She told me that Betty White was a really famous actor who was well known for her love of animals. Sadly, Betty crossed the Rainbow Bridge a few weeks before her 100th birthday, but we can still celebrate a life well lived, a life dedicated to improving the lives of animals. I'd like to challenge all my flockers to make a real difference in the lives of parrots. Choose your favorite rescue and make a $5 donation in Betty's name. A lot of parrots go through multiple homes and end up unwanted or abandoned at a rescue, cared for by volunteers. These rescues need your help. If you don't have a favorite parrot rescue, I'd like to tell you about a few very special parrot rescues and sanctuaries. You might recall seeing Grey Haven in the news a number of years ago. In June 2016, Grey Haven rescued 584 parrots from the World Parrot Refuge. The founder of the World Parrot Refuge had passed away and the charity collapsed after her death. There were a lot of birds needing to be rehomed and Grey Haven stepped up. Grey Haven continues to do a lot of good work today, taking care of many of my feathered cousins. Magnolia Exotic Bird Sanctuary is in Texas. We featured them in a special video after a crippling winter storm struck Texas with widespread loss of electricity and record-setting low temperatures. Since that storm hit, the sanctuary has done a lot of work installing generators and setting up so that they have enclosed spaces for the flock if they do get hit by another storm. This is a relatively small sanctuary, but they could use your help. New England Exotic Wildlife Sanctuary has also been in the news. You might also know them as foster parrots. Earlier this year, they had a devastating fire that killed over 80 parrots. The fire was ruled accidental but the sanctuary has an incredible amount of rebuilding to do. As of December 2021, foster parrots had 325 residents, so they're quite a large sanctuary. You can read up more about them in the news. These are just a few of the many deserving parrot sanctuaries and rescues. I encourage you to choose one near you or check out the description for some links for some of our other picks. Remember, even your local humane society could use your help. Often they deal with our feathered cousins as well. Although 2021 took Betty away from us a few weeks before her 100th birthday, we can still celebrate a life well lived. Let's honor her memory by doing something good for animal rescues and let's help out the flock. Donate $5 to your favorite sanctuary or rescue and tell us about it in the comments below.